man. What day is it? Day 26. Today we cleaned off the crossbar with some degreaser. Yeah, let me look at that. So we mixed up some purple power, half strength, and started soaking and scrubbing this thing with a brush. Looks a lot better, but we need to turn it over and do the other side. What else we do today? We changed out the two back rear lights. Yeah, well first to do that we had to like plug up our little power supply thingamajig, so. Again, with new parts since we had disconnected some of these wires yeah, to so. do the engine. And kind of saved it with some electrical tape right now. And then yeah, so then we redid the, uh, here you want to turn them on? So we got a lot of light bulbs to change and we thought it'd be a fun distraction to do some every once in a while. So um, plug in our little 12 volt power supply. And so we did the uh, rear side markers and the license plate bulbs today. That was fun. Yeah. So the side ones don't, they're not that bright, but I mean they're there. And then there's the back ones for the license plate and they're really bright. Pretty cool. Now we got LED lights on. We'll keep going and we'll have to change the, L the flasher to be support LEDs and stuff, but have fun today? Yes, sir. All right, goodbye. All right, what day is today? Day 28, I think. What do we do today? Uh, today we finished uh, doing the back brake lights because yesterday we left uh, these back lights as just regular bulbs. bulbs. Um, so we replaced those with some powerful LEDs and then we came back to the front and we replaced these LEDs uh, and this one was broken so we decided to leave it kind of hanging until we can yeah one of our new bulbs we got yeah. was bad so yeah. it's just kind of weird but we gotta get a new one and then we went under the dashboard and we, we, we replaced the flasher that's right for one that can go with LEDs we used um, which flasher did we use? This. Um, this flasher, and which says on their site, it is the um, where is it on there? Oh yeah, that last one. LED bulb electronic flasher. We knew that the existing flasher in there wasn't compatible with LED bulbs. So we bought this flasher. And we thought that'll let us get around all these issues about having resistors wired in and make it compatible and all that stuff. But for some reason, when we try the blinkers, the back ones blink. They're slow, but they they come on and then get bright, which is I, I would have just expected them to be just an on-off flasher. And then in the front, I think the one side works if the lights are off, like the parking the parking lights are not on the other side doesn't work at all so we're not I'm not really sure maybe I have the wrong bulbs for the front or maybe we still have to wire up resistors or something I really hope not because I you know I don't want to be wasting drawing current through resistors just to make some flasher happy I'd rather just have a simple circuit that flashes the lights when you tell it to but um, anyway we got to do some research and figure out what's going on with our other flashers. We'll go make some posts on the forum or something. Mm -hmm. All right. Day 28. 20. All right, Charlie, what day is it? Today is day 30. All right. Um, today, or this morning, I came and replaced this dome light with an LED. And we also did the... Glove box, box light, light. Yeah. and that one works too. Yeah, um, we realized the lights have to actually be on for the glove box light to come on. And then, just now, we fixed the, uh, or we calibrated the sunroof. Yeah, the motor wasn't opening all the way, and we figured out how to adjust it. So now it opens more fully. Much, yeah. And we learned all about how it works, where what these limit switches do, which is what most of the books talk about, but a lot of don't talk about. There's a limit switch on the 924S that's in the middle there's, between the visors. Yeah, there's two Allen. Yeah. So we just right tried loosening those, and sure enough, it moved that little prong that, that hits the limit switch inside. And now it opens further. That's cool. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, what else did we do today? Uh, oh, we show you. We printed out this. Oh, model. that's right. This is our big 3D printed model of a a motor. This is like a a model I found. I think of the Warp Nine motor, or maybe it's the Hyper Nine. I forget. And um, and it's not necessarily the motor we plan on using, but it's a motor and we're trying to figure out how much room we have so we've been we kind of got underneath the car to just start visualizing where that motor would wind up in here and we're pretty sure we don't have enough room the way things are we're gonna have to modify some things with that cross member and the shaft being sticking out so we've seen enough to know we got more work to do but it is kind of nice to have this model that we can play with um, unfortunately it took <laughs> About six days of printing for all these different pieces and um, a ton of filament, but uh, we got it. Now we can play with that. And what else did we do? Anything else? Okay. okay. Oh, no, we took measurements of the torque tube. So what we're planning on doing so that while we're working in here and doing stuff, I really don't want to mess up that drive shaft or get things inside the torque tube. So we're going to 3D print a little cover that can slide over that and cover it and keep it protected while we're doing stuff so that was the other thing we did mm -hmm. all right what was the day 30 day 30 done all right buddy what day is it today is day 31 One. today we put the cross member our first we printed out a uh cover for the torque tube and the end of that shaft Oh yeah, so we got our little 3D printed, we measured the torque tube and the shaft and we modeled some up Fusion 360 and printed it out. So that's, yeah, that covers the shaft right there. And then we put the cross member back in, hooked up the steering linkage and the two, uh, I guess you would call it steering... Control arms? Control arms. Um, Why did we do all that? So we could put the wheels on so we could roll the car out and wash um, this whole engine bay so... Whenever we start working in here in the future, it's not disgusting. And... Yeah, so we wanted to see if we can get it back in a shape where it could roll out. Both of the front brakes are kind of locked up, so it rolls pretty rough. Um, so we're going to have to figure out brakes at some point. But anyway, we wanted to get all of that sturdy enough that we could take it off the jacks and roll it out. We've also been doing some research about this power steering mechanism and running without power steering and converting that to manual steering and whether or not that little shaft inside of that power steering um, pinion um, is strong enough so anyway we need to figure out some power steering stuff but well what else we do we fixed the uh we fixed the blinkers by just going back to the original incandescent bulbs in the front and doing that the LED flasher works now So for whatever speed. Everything flashes the right way and it flashes at the right speed. So putting those 1156 Blinker bulbs from super bright LEDs for whatever reason doesn't work with the LED flasher But if but if you put the old bulbs in the front then everything works so for whatever reason, it's like the new ones are just not drawing enough current or something. And I don't know. I would have thought with an LED flasher made for LED bulbs, I wouldn't have thought that would have been a problem. But it is. So we'll try to see if we can get those bulbs returned. All right. Anything else? Um, did we ever talk about the windshield wipers? Um, I can't remember. You you had fixed some of, some few things by yourself Actually, the other day. Yeah, I don't think um, we talked about that. So we... Or maybe we did. Yeah, we did. But recap, we fixed the, uh, we put in some LED lights where the regular ones were and mm -hmm. the dome light in the glove box. And in that process, I was trying to figure out why the glove box wouldn't come on. And I went to the fuse box where the fuse was blown and I figured out those are for the windshield wipers, which previously didn't work. So those now work. Mm -hmm. so that's good. Very good. All right, bud. Day 31. Day 31.